guys, it's Candace, and we are moving on to day five of our seven-day new coach training. Um, I hope that you are digging in and doing the training that we've provided the last four days. Don't skip anything. All of the things that we're giving you this week are vital. Um, the, the coach basics training is generally more about 30 days long. We've pared it down to the absolute essentials that you need to have to get busy working so that you can stop spending time on busy work and get busy earning money. So don't skip these. These are important. This is not busy work. This is stuff that you've got to know. Um, today we are going to talk about challenge groups. Now some of you might be familiar with them if you started as a challenger first and then signed up to coach. And if so, then you know the power that is found inside a challenge group. Um, if you are a new coach who signed up with Challenge Pack and have not previously been a challenger, then you might not quite have the um, ex experiences with challenge groups that the rest of us have. All I can tell you is that challenge groups are the secret sauce to our success. Um, I don't know how many times we could email someone or send them a text message to ask them how they're doing with their program and that's all great but what happens if they have a struggle and you're not there? What happens if they kinda get tired of you saying the same thing, hey how you doing today? and stop reading your texts? Um, the challenge groups offer an entire community of people who are doing the same things. They might not be doing the same program, but everyone is working together to try and stick to their new goals, to exercise and to eat healthy. Um, and these groups are so super supportive. There has never been an instance in any of these groups that I have seen where someone responds with negativity or... Um, I've never seen anyone be put down in these groups. It's nothing but support and motivation, and it's amazing. It really, truly is. So if you have not um, been through a challenge group of your own, you should have been added to one when you signed up to coach because you also bought a challenge pack. So even though you're a new coach, you're also a challenger. So if you were not added to a challenge group, to go through as a challenger, then talk to your sponsoring coach and make sure that gets done. And I know that you're going to be focusing a lot on training. You're going to be focusing a lot on trying to push the business, but you need to remember to be a challenger because one of our three vital behaviors is to be a product of the product. And you cannot push the products and you cannot push the challenge groups if you haven't experienced it yourself. So put that on your daily list if you are going through um, your first challenge group at the same time as this training and make sure that you check in to your challenge group every day. You have to lead by example. You cannot put people in these groups and tell them how amazing they are and then never post. They will all go on radio silence. They've got to see the coaches in the groups posting and encouraging, sharing healthy tips or sharing their own struggles so that people can see that this is a real challenge that everyone goes through together. So you have got to get into your challenge group, post every day, I don't care if you miss your workout. You get on there and say, dang it, I missed my workout because of da 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 da, but I did have my shake. Or, I did my workout this morning, it was a little bit early so I didn't get it all in, but I skipped the chocolate cake at lunch. You know, get in there and talk about how you're doing and don't stop there. Spend five minutes every day in your challenge group Throw your post up there and then scroll down through the group and comment on the other posts. Nobody wants to post in a group and then just get silence. Crickets. Hello. Why? So go through there and comment and post and comment and post and, and just make it a community where everyone works together to achieve success. Um, and that way when you are inviting people to join you, you can tell them how amazing these groups are and how much support they're going to get. This is, um, it really is, it's been the one thing that has convinced people to join me over anything else because they need a lot of support. I have one challenger who signed up just the end of last month and she's been thinking about it for probably four months, but she's terrified that she's not going to be able to follow through. Um, so I 
almost literally had to hold her hand while she placed her order. And she needs this so much. So she got her order and she's doing really well. I was out of town last week and ended up not having any service. So I wasn't able to check in with her at all. And I check in daily. Um, she was awesome enough to post a question that she had in the challenge group. Rather than coming to me with text, she posted it in the group and she got a flurry of answers and support and, oh, I have that problem too. And it helped her to push through that struggle even though her coach was not available. So challenge groups are, are huge. They are gold. They are a big part of our business. Um, there is a document that I will upload in the training group. It's called the five step invitation process. It kind of helps you have an idea of a good way to invite people into your challenge group. You don't want to follow this word for word. Read through it and get to know the order of the steps, but rephrase it and make it sound like you. But I do want you to print it off today. Print off the five step invitation guide, stick it next to your, com next to your computer and use it when you're inviting people. It'll help you to feel more comfortable with that inviting process. And it's also going to be what helps you avoid being salesy because that's one of everyone's biggest fears is I don't want to be salesy and pushy. So print this guide off and use the steps. Just do it in your own words. Um, but one of the big things that the five step invitation guide does is it stops us from jumping right into the details. If we message someone and say, hey, how are your kids? Those pictures were so cute. And then we say, hey, I was just wondering if you would want to join my fitness group that starts next week. And they respond by saying, well, what are the details? Don't give them the details yet. Don't jump into that. You need to find out what their fitness goals are and you need to find out why they want to reach those goals. If you are talking to a mom of four kids who's overweight and hasn't bought anything for herself in six years, you need to know why she wants the change. And she needs to know why. We call this your why power, and each of us has one. We have to have a deep, deep reason for making change, or we're just going to quit when it gets hard. So talk to them a little bit. Ask them what their fitness goals are. Do you need to lose weight or just tone up? How's your nutrition? Do you feel like you eat pretty good or could you use some help? Just ask them a couple of questions and most of the time they will unload on you. They will say, oh, I have so much weight to lose. I can't believe I let it get this far. And I think my nutrition's pretty good, but I wonder if I'm eating too much or they will unload. And then you can just talk to them a little bit about it and tell them that you understand. It's so hard. I went through the same thing and say, you know, just, just support them and explain and let them know that you understand where they're at. And if they say, I want to lose weight um, by August, don't just leave it at that. Say, what's in August? Oh, well, I have a class reunion, my 20 year class reunion. Oh, so you want to look awesome for your 20 year reunion. We can do that. And now you have something that you can remind them of when they're struggling or when they've stopped posting or responding to you, say, hey, we've got to get you looking good for that reunion. How are you doing? So when you're going through the invitation process, you want to just chat with them a little bit. Let them know that you care more about them than you do about selling a product. And you are going to gain so many great friends who trust you to help them to reach these goals. And those kind of friends are the ones who are going to stick with you they're not going to just keep switching coaches every time they meet someone new. Um, so check out the five-step invitation guide. Look at how it guides you through this. And find out their why power. It doesn't take that long. You don't have to spend a week talking to people. It's not a big deal. I can go through, I mean, two minutes, I think. I just had a little mini conversation here with you. It doesn't take long, but they will appreciate it so much more, and they will trust you more for caring. When it comes time to find people to invite to these challenge groups, I want you to invite everyone. Invite everyone that you can think of. There's nothing wrong with inviting them to this thing. There's nothing wrong with asking someone if they would like to join a fitness group. If they decide not to, then be happy and say, no problem, I just wanted to give you the opportunity and if you ever change your mind, 
let me know. And then you need to remain friends with them. You can't just stop talking to them because they told you no. Don't let it get awkward. Just be friends with them, and that will increase their trust in you as well. Another thing that... I have to consult my notes. Another thing that I would recommend for each of you is to host your own free challenge group every month. So our big challenge groups we run as a team usually. We have multiple coaches in there so that there's plenty of activity going on in the group. Lots of people who can answer questions. And then it's not quite as scary if you're not the only one in there who's in charge. Um, these big groups we usually reserve for people who've made a purchase. Preferably a challenge pack. I always start out by trying to encourage people to get a challenge pack um, because they need both. They need the workout program and they need Shakeology. But I use my own judgment and there are times where I'll let people into those groups without. Um, and we can talk about that later, but that will be your own personal preference. You don't want to just go and throw any random Joe in those groups and... It's not, it's, it needs to have some um, exclusivity. So if you're going to put someone in there who's not purchasing anything from you yet, it needs to be someone who already has a program and they really need help getting through it um, and they're willing to make you their free coach or, you know, you need to use your best judgment on putting them in there without a purchase. But you can run free groups as often as you want and you can put anyone you want in those groups. I would recommend at least one free group every month. Now you could do a general health and fitness group and that is a really good one to start out with when you're a new coach um, just because it shows people that you're moving on to this healthy fit lifestyle and it kind of helps them to do the same thing. Um, and it's run basically just like our other challenge groups. It's just for people who are doing, you know, maybe someone's walking every day is their form of exercise or you can have runners in there. They're not necessarily doing a beach body program. Um, another thing you could do with free challenge groups, and this is really great when you're trying to generate new interest, uh, is to do short, like seven day groups with a specific theme. I'm hosting one right now called the Guns and Grub Challenge. So we have daily arm exercises to work on these guns. And we ha are doing clean eating, and I provided a week of recipes for, um, to help people learn how to eat clean. So you can be as specific or as general as you want, but the more creative you are with your free groups, the more likely people are going to be to join it. Now when you put people in these free groups, they kind of get a little taste of what it would be like to have you as their coach full time. And usually about two thirds of the way through the group, if it's a week long group, then I'll get in there and I'll post and tell them how great they're doing and I will invite them to continue their progress in one of my big challenge groups. And this Guns and Grub challenge, I actually ended up finding, I don't know, I think like 15 people. I posted about it in a couple of public Facebook selling groups and I ended up with 10 or 15 people who wanted to join it. And I had them send me a friend request so I could add them to the group. So these people, even if they don't buy something right now, they're seeing my posts every single day. And eventually, some of them are going to come around and probably order. Um, so think of a free group. And if you're scared to run one by yourself, grab someone else on the team and work together and brainstorm together and run the group together. That's a really great way to get started with these groups. Um, the other thing that I want to stress to you is that you have to, you get to a point where you have a lot of challenge groups going. We start our big groups at least two a month. Sometimes we have a new one every week if there's a lot of people ordering. And when you're a new coach, sometimes you'll have like one or two people in a group. And then the next people who order go in the next group. So you have all these groups with just one or two challengers. Don't lose them. Don't forget about them. Go into our team page where I posted a video that Lacey Hawker created. She shows you how to organize your groups so that they're on your favorites bar over on the left side of your Facebook page. Put all of your important current groups that you have to check into on that main menu so that every morning or whenever you do your posts, you just go down the line. And yes, you can copy and paste. If you're doing a post about your workout for the day, copy and paste in all the groups because the only people who know you do that are the coaches and it'll save you a lot of time. But you make sure that you check in with every group that you have a challenger in 
and you make sure to keep track of which challenger is in which group so that you can keep checking on them and make sure that they're not going silent. Feel free to tag them in the group on your daily posts. Tag them and ask them how they're doing or ask them something specific like post a, a workout selfie or whatever to try and encourage them to continue posting. Um, so that's that's basically it with challenged groups. There's a lot of other insight about these groups from top coaches. So if you want more, then just go to YouTube and type Beachbody Challenge Groups and you will find so many great ideas. But the important thing is just to know that these are literally the secret to our success. They are the secret to the success of so many people who have had tremendous results with their weight loss and other goals. Um, it's a huge part of the supportive atmosphere that we offer to our customers. So get familiar with your challenge groups. Get into your challenge group today and post something and start doing it every single day. It takes you literally like a minute to post. You don't even have to have a picture. Just type something. Share your shake recipe, whatever it takes. But be consistent and post in your challenge groups as much as you can because that is how you're going to draw people in. When you offer them a challenge pack and you say it's $180, you're not going to say that's for Shakeology and a workout program. You're going to say for $180, you're going to get Shakeology, you're going to get T25, you're going to get a free tri a trial membership to Team Beachbody Club, you're going to get me as your free coach, you're going to get participation in our challenge group. You're going to rattle off all these things that they get for doing a challenge group and it's just a little bit more than buying the program alone. So build the value of these groups for your customers and let them know how amazing it is. And one other thing that you can do to really make this something that people want to participate in is do shout outs on your page. Not like in the groups necessarily. Shout, shout your people out in the groups if they have had great success with something. I mean, even if it's just she reached her water goal for seven days in a row, she's so awesome. Shout them out in your group, but then every once in a while on your personal page, do a shout out and say, I am so proud of my challengers. One girl has lost five pounds, another girl has lost three pounds, and this girl has lost six pounds, and this is all in two weeks. And you don't want to name names unless you have their permission, but do these shout outs and talk about how amazing your challengers are doing in these challenge groups so that people are like, what? What's this challenge group? I want to be in on that. Um, that I've had a lot of success with that drawing interest into the challenge groups. Um, so that's it. That's challenge groups 